Good morning everyone. So after my first video about macro photography two weeks ago, which I was talking about the 50 millimeter lens with the adapter, but today I want to go a little bit deeper and I want to speak about another lens with, which is a telephoto lens, uh, the 18, 105 millimeters and I will also use an uh, adapter, reverse rings. I will show you how I can take a photo like this for example or like this. So the first thing I need to make Photos like this is a tripod which I can make upside down to let the camera as close as I can to the crown. The second thing is the adapter for the lens. So as I said, I will take off the head of the tripod and now I can use it like this. I can put the camera right here. As you can see, I put the head of the tripod upside down so I can use the camera like this to be able to take photos like this. It is the, this small metal piece, this important about the f-stop because we take off the lens you can't control this f-stop anymore that's why you need a small piece of plastic for example so you can make the f-stop open because if we let it like this the photo would be so dark that's why we need to open the f-stop as much as we can so this is the adapter reverse ring i can attach it to the lens like this and now i can attach the camera to the lens and to be reversed like this so the main problem about taking photos when the lens is reversed is there's no connect between the camera and the lens and that's why the camera can't tell us if the photo is underexposed or overexposed every time we want to take a photo we need to play with the shutter speed to find the best exposure so as you can see like here i can use the camera like this and try to find yeah something to to take a photo of so another point i want to talk about is the using of focus stacking yeah because of the shallow depths of field you can't be sure that to take one photo and to be everything in focus and to have everything in focus like here for example you can see this this lower it's very small yeah this is my small finger and the photo is uh, the and the flower is very small but I can't have it all in focus that's why I have to make focus stacking from background to the foreground so what I will do I will take the first photo and I will make the background sharp and I will come slowly to the foreground as you can see here from background to foreground so this is another way I will try to do with taking photos about this method with this method is using this softbox and I will use it with the built, built in flash but this way I will use it to take photos of insects because you can't stop any movement for example a movement of an insect or something like that and it's really very useful for insect photography so I will put the diffuser of the camera flash like this the most important thing of using the flash like this without any connect be between the lens and the body of the camera you have to choose here bracketing flash and after that flash control for built-in flash with, which means this flash and you have to use it as manual as i said because there's no connect between the lens and the camera the camera will not know the exposure and it can't decide which flash power it will use it will not work and it will not take photos also we have to choose manual and here we have to choose the power of the flash so as you can see so as you can see here these are the photos I came up with I made something like 20 or 30 photos but yeah these four photos are the best for me and I'm sorry I couldn't make any video while I'm taking these photos because I have to run after this bee and I couldn't just stick with one place and as you can see here it's really so hard to have all this information tiny information without using a flash whatever the camera you use it's really impossible to have this all these small tiny informations without using a flash and a diffuser and uh, 
this is also a photo I made last year with the same method yeah and you can just see this the tiny small hair of the ant yeah and I am pretty sure you can't have these results without using a flash and a diffuser so thank you very much for watching this video if you like it and if you want to see another videos in the future please subscribe and thank you very much see you next week bye